Good morning traders and welcome to the daily call today Friday the 24th of March. Before we do get started as always please understand that any advice in this session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay, so let us have a look at what's happened overnight uh, and in London. Uh, the GBP continues to make forward stride as retail sales came in better than forecast at 1.4%. Um, we should all be on kind of a little bit of a high alert with the GBP because remember, as soon as we trigger into that Article 50, it will have significant impact on the cable in this particular market. So the unfortunate part is that we don't know when there's a scheduled announcement for it, so it could just pop up out of nowhere. But be alert, uh, Article 50, uh, GBP. In the US, uh, unemployment claims rose to 258,000, so this is obviously not good, uh, more unemployment being claimed. Uh, the US dollar reacted accordingly and it did lose a bit of ground. With Miss Yellen's speech overnight, it was overall non-impacting as she focused on other non-rate related issues uh, more or less throughout that speech, so she gave no further indication, market kind of didn't react at all uh, to that speech. So that's all that happened overnight, there wasn't much, it's time to have a look at our chart of the day. Now for those of you who saw yesterday's video, today's chart may look a little bit similar. It's the US Yen daily again. Now remember yesterday I did say that what we were trying to trade is seven consecutive days in one direction. Normally I like it at eight, but at seven I would consider the trade and yesterday we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we were attempting to trade this candle. Now I don't know if anybody's been stopped out depending on where you put your stop or depending on what your target was. Normally, typically what I try to do with this type of trade, it's not a trade that I think is going to reverse uh, back to these kind of levels. It's purely a statistical based this trade that I'm just looking for a short reversal and if you had started your trade at the open yesterday we did get to uh, I think it was around about 33 pips so including the spread you would have been able to get your 30 out of that trade typically at about 30 I will collect something from it sometimes I go for 60 just depends it's a bit discretionary it's, it's up to yourself what you like okay now Regardless of what happened yesterday, today we have eight in a row, so I will go again, um, and, and the, the, the game plan is the same as yesterday. So if you like it, um, this is an extreme rare situation where we get eight consecutive days in one direction, all we're looking for is some kind of reversal. Yesterday, if you went for 30, it would have worked. Today, let's see what happens. If we go for another 30, let's see how it goes. There you have it, that is our chart of the day, the US Yen on a daily. So what do we have coming up in the final session of the week? Uh, actually, it's not much. All we have is tonight at 11.30, CAD for the CAD, our CPI numbers, and we have core durable goods order for the US at 11.30 as well. Now that time is my local time, which is Australian Eastern Standard Daylight Savings Time. So there you have it, that will round out our week. I hope you'll have a fantastic weekend. As always, please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. But most importantly, I hope you'll have a fantastic trading day and I will see you on Monday for the daily call. Bye for now.